Well, today I am in Pickers Antique Mall, also just out of Sioux Falls by the T exit. So come along, let's get shopping. Please hit like and subscribe. Hi, it's Lori from Dakota Relics. Come join me as I travel around the area, searching for treasures that I can buy and then flip for a profit. You'll never know what I find unless you follow me. Come on, let's get shopping. So it has been a while since I've been out here and a lot of the booths have changed. It's kind of a cool old squirt cooler. But this candelabra, a brass candelabra, is very, very nice. It would be so expensive to ship. It's so heavy. It has a marble base. Um, let me check the price on it. $47.99 would hold 16 candles. These are interesting. They're like candles, electric candles though, like a blow mold. They're older though, $16 for the pair. I'm thinking about that. And then as I'm looking way up here, way, way up, is that like a music case or a wig case? Certainly 1960s. I am not sure. I might pull it down and look. Well, I'm kind of into the glassware section now. These are kind of interesting. Kind of swirled bowls. Let's see. Some pretty, very pretty dish. I'm almost at that geranium glass as well as this. Oh, I love the, the more blue. That's cool. I see something over there too. We'll get to it. Really nice. Oh, there's that. Uh, I forget what they call it. It's a pretty. It's a Lefton. It's very pretty. Oh, here's that coin and or coin and dot or dot and coin, something like that. Oh, they have several pieces of that blue. Yeah, that's nice. Nah. Oh, isn't this pretty? Blue painted six piece glasses, six thirty dollars. Okay, let me take a blue bowl with the Individual dishes, 45 I don't think that's a bad price at all. Oh, here's some nice bells. I think the old school bells can really go well. All right, do you see this? Here's a deer in that same beaded pattern that I picked up the giraffe last week. I like it. This is kind of cool. It's DC Tuttle's Devil Bugs. I think it's for a fishing company. It's a neat piece. Okay. Little peanuts lunchbox. I see up here these left in leprechauns, a whole set of Five, and they look to be in really good condition for $25. One goes for $25. So I'm picking these up for sure. Okay, I also saw these elves. Four of them for $40. I think that's a good price. Ooh, but I don't know. I'm going to pass. There's two other ones up there. 
And those are Jeff. Oh, those are Joseph Originals. Can you see them? $45 for the pair. They have ladybugs on them. So this is kind of what I had seen across the aisle. Uranium glass block optic butter dish. And then here is a deep green pitcher. Um, that one's 28. The butter dish is 50. I don't know if there's much money. Here's another pitcher. I'm almost thinking this is a reproduction. I'm not sure. But there are some pretty glassware things here. I don't know. I don't really like that clown one. But I do like this blue bird dish. That's very pretty. What do you think is on that? I don't think it's terribly old. $45. This is a very unique dish. Okay. Oh, look at that. What is this? Oh, it's Blanco. It's $99. It's lovely. And then the Bluebirds of Happiness. Those are quite, I don't know, to me that's quite expensive. $16. The Cobalt Top Hat. Well, um, I decided against the Butter Dish. Let's see what else we can find. What is this? It's a frog. <laughs> a razor blade bank. You put your used razor blades in there. I've never seen one like that. It's kind of cool. Um... Casper the Friendly Ghost, but he's $65. And there's a lot of glassware in this booth. Um, you know, nothing that I, well, here's kind of a head face, I guess. Schoolgirl head face. $21. Uh, oh, that's Blanco. I'll be darned. $65. I didn't know that Blanco was going so much up in price. I like these deer. Oh, and that one back there is a horse. Some little dogs. A nice German Shepherd picture. Um, <laughs> that's kind of gross, but this is even grosser. A dead rabbit. You guys, I am back to this ashtray. I did look it up, and it's listed or it's marked twenty dollars. It is have a. France stamp on it, if you can see that. But several have sold in that $100 range. It's some type of a cruise line out of France, so I'm going to pick this up. got to go for it. So there are lot, a lot of uh, Roseville right here. Some really nice pieces. Oh, I love those. The flower frogs, they're $80, but there are... Is it $80 a piece? Or $80... Ooh, $80 a piece, but they're nice. This is gorgeous glass. Oh, look at that. $180. Don't doubt it for a minute. So pretty. Very pretty framed print, floral. Look at that. 
Sugar shaker. $145. Wowzer. Do you see this cobalt bull wall that's rimmed down here? They're calling it an ice bowl for cocktails. It's really Art Deco looking. It's cool. But it is $70. I don't think I could make much money. Or any money, probably. Oh. I do have a vase like this listed, which I believe is left in. These are in really good condition. We've got some totem pole, but they're um, whiskey decanters, I guess. Here's some uranium glass. Just kind of various pieces, not anything that I'm too much interested in. There's a cluster of grapes. <laughs> they look kind of, well, definitely hand blown. I have enough of those listed. I need to sell some. I have found a few things. Ooh, this is, I don't know. Is it, is it Hager? Oh, no, it's McCoy. $50 for the McCoy uh, turtle planter or waterer. It's really about what they go for online, so can't do that. I like this planter. It's McCoy also. Oh, and look at this. The pattern reminds me a lot of the tumble up I just listed. Oh, and there's the blue bowl again. 